Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be working more with security by checking what sort of variables actually come in to our server. Let's get started on that now. Okay, so now that we have our public and private settings, let's go ahead and talk about something that's very important to the security of your Meteor site. Right now we have a form on our page and allows us to submit pretty much anything. We could submit an object in here and you could do that through the command line with the meteor.call. I mean, you could submit anything in here. So what we need is a package called check. So let's go to our uh, actual packages here. And let's go to packages. Scroll down and add check. That's all it is, just check. You'll see that it's gonna go ahead and grab this. Okay, so we now should be good to be able to use this package check. Now, what is this? This is basically a package that's gonna allow us to check our code before it gets allowed to run on the server. So for instance, we always want to know what's coming into our Meteor methods, right? We want to make sure what's coming into our methods is exactly what we would expect. So let's head to our methods.js. So if we check out our resolution form, we're sending in just the single text value to add resolution. So we would know that if anything came into here, that this variable resolution, and if anything came in here that wasn't a string, we would not want that to be able to happen, right? That just, we don't want BSM to be able to sit, submit an object to here if we're expecting a string. So we can use this package check which is a Meteor package to just say check, and then we can pass in the resolution, uh, resolution, and that should be a string, okay? So it's what the variable is as the first perimeter, and the second is what, the, what it's expecting. So resolution here needs to be a string. In fact, we can confirm that by heading to our front end, and let's go ahead and type meteor.call and pass in the method that is add resolution. And inside of here, we're actually going to give this a number. So we're gonna call meteor resolution add resolution, and we're gonna say the value is 21. Now we're getting a method error add resolution match failed. Now if we head to our command line, we see that sanitized and reported to the client as match failed. So check, Except, expected a string, got a number. So by running check on all of your methods, you'll now be able to make sure that nobody is able to submit anything into these methods that they shouldn't. For instance, this resolution here is going to be an object. Okay. And Let's check this delete resolution. This delete resolution is, is using both the object user. Okay, so this is going to be an object as well. Now, if we we're passing in several variables in here, we could check all of those variables. It's extremely important that you do this. That way, if people do know what your methods are, they uh, will only be able to submit the types of data that you want them to have. Now, another way around this is to use a package like collections2, which involves the simple schema package. Now, simple schema allows you to define schemas, and in those schemas, you can say like text is supposed to be a string, uh, you know, this is supposed to be a Boolean, and that package will actually check your variables for you and make sure that when they're submitted that they're the correct type. So make sure that you're either checking right here in your methods if you're adding to a collection or that you're using a package like Simple Schema, which I actually do go over in the Intermediate Meteor tutorial. So if you want to learn Simple Schema, head over to the Intermediate Meteor tutorials. It's going to be just as viable in React as it is in Meteor. Now, the only difference is you won't be able to use the uh, package that allows you to automatically create form fields based on the schema. Other than that, though, Simple Schema is a great option if you want that protection as well. 
Cool. So check your variables. Please do it. Do it, do it, do it. It's definitely a good thing to do for your site and the security of your site. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video at me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. As always, these videos are available on the store, leveluptutorials.com, if you want to get the code examples for these as well as extra videos that are only released along with the digital purchase or level up pro subscription. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.